Okay, hi guys again. So this is a very short dossier on basically what are my favorite candlestick patterns, okay? My favorite, and I have a lot of favorite ones, but I only summarized it onto four in this because I like to make it simple because, you know, trading as it is, is complex enough. So uh, as they say, right, keep it simple, right? Keep it simple, stupid. So the idea is very, very simple. If it can be done for the most stupid people, that is very simple. It would work. Please don't make your trading complex, okay? You want to make it as simple as possible in order to be successful. So let's just uh, visit again uh, candlesticks, you know, they're green and they are red. You know, green is for bullish, red is for bearish. If you have met a trader for, then you might see white, which is for bullish, and red, uh, which is basically for bearish. So you can also follow the candlesticks recording, which I put on my uh, YouTube channel. And you know, it's very useful for you guys to get uh, very, very acquainted with a candlesticks charts. The idea is simple. If it's bullish, this means the price is basically uh, going up here. And it means uh, the price basically opened uh, here. It closed higher than the open, hence uh, the propensity for it going up. Hence you have a green candle here. This is the low and this is a high. And these form the wicks of the candlestick. And if you have a bearish candlestick, it's basically the reverse. Prices open here, went down lower, and this is the closing price. The closing price, of course, lower than the opening price. This is the high of the day. This is the low of the day. If you're going on a daily chart, of course, if an hourly chart, then this represents the hour. So just a short revisit on the candlestick. Basically, green is bullish and red is bearish. Okay, yeah, look there. See the bull and also see the bear. So the first one that I like is basically uh, what they call the hammer and also the inverse. So, you know, the hammer looks like that. The inverse hammer is just bearish signal, basically looks like that. And we'll see it afterwards. Head and shoulders, of course, the head and shoulders is a very uh, bearish signal. Uh, going up, it's gonna be like that. So if you see that, this is the shoulder. This is the head and this is the shoulder of the person, right? The inverse head and shoulder is a bullish uh, signal. It goes like that and that and that. Flags up or down. This is basically a breakup pattern like that. Or if it's going down, it's basically you have something going up and then breaking down like that. And finally, the cup and handle. You know, you remember a cup and handle like this? Well, the cup and handle for Forex uh, basically looks well. It's like a cup and then it looks like a handle, and then it basically breaks up. So, you know, what I really like is that nothing is sure in life, but if you stick to this high probability patterns, you will probably get into a trade that brings you money. And Forex is beautiful because you have all these powerful chart patterns, not only at the higher time frames, but of course, the lower time frames. For example, you can see it on the daily, you can see it on the weekly. Uh, which I look for long-term patterns, okay? This is long-term patterns. Uh, for example, I like breaks out of flags on the daily chart, but the important thing is that to execute, you can also see this on the hourly pattern, which I use to execute. However, I understand that some people use even the 15 minute to execute, but my choice is basically executing on the daily pattern. And this is the beautiful thing of Forex, it's all there and it's all valid. So this is the first pattern that we see. Uh, it's basically called the hammer, okay? And yeah, because it looks just like a hammer. And basically what we see is prices going down, right? So you see that prices going down. So you have the momentum uh, pushing the prices down. People are selling, 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 and they drive it down here. And then you know what? Suddenly what happens, they turn it up because it has reached a pattern where sellers are basically exhausted and now the buyers come back in and at the end of the period you see the price basically after going low it turns up and goes higher and yes you see this pattern and this usually signals a bullish direction a bullish potential direction because the sellers are exhausted and the buyers basically come here and take over hence you see a change in direction 
And if you have the hammer, you can have the shooting stars. So, you know, prices are really, really climbing up here, but suddenly guess what? Instead of going up, it reverses, okay? It reverses at the end of the session and it goes down and suddenly becomes a red because guess what? Uh, if you look at what happens on the uh, candlestick here, the prices open here, went up here to the high, and then closes here at the low. Okay, this is the low. Uh, open, high, low, and close. Yeah, it's opening near the low. The low is actually here. So you see this reversal pattern here, and once the reversal pattern is complete, then the potential direction is down because guess what? the buyers are now exhausted, right? They push the price up. They seemingly cannot push that again. And now the sellers are in. They come in with full force to push the price uh, going down. So uh, let's start on the hammer, okay? We're gonna show you a real example on the hammer. I show you now a uh, Euro USD, uh, Euro against the uh, US dollar. And let's go to the one hour chart. So let's see if we can have a hammer here. And yeah, we already see uh, some, you see that here? Uh, it's quite uh, clear and let me point it out to you. See that here? See there's a hammer and then it just goes up there. So this is good because it goes down and then it returns up. Uh, let's go and see for some other time frames. For example, uh, instead of an hour, can we see some more on the daily? Of course, it's stronger if it's on the uh, higher uh, level time frames. okay? So let's remove this and identify some more opportunities here. Do we see one? Yes, we see two. And you can see uh, hammers uh, basically forming here. Yeah, right uh, there. Ooh, the draw, yes, there and there. And you can see the movement of how the pairs go, uh, basically goes down and then reverses on the hammer, goes down and then reverses upon the hammer. Head and shoulders. Now head and shoulders are very, uh, very <laughs> tricky patterns because they take a long time to form, okay? And uh, it's obvious that when you see in the uh, charts here why they take a long time to form and sometimes you're really getting bored waiting for this. For example here, this is a head and shoulder. Prices have to go up here, go down, uh, get supported at this level here, go up again, higher than this level, higher than the left shoulder, go down again, go up again. Of course, lower than the head here, this is the right shoulder, and then go down, break this, and then goes down at a distance that's equivalent to that. So that basically is the head and shoulders pattern. This takes a long time to form as of this, okay? So if you're going daily, this can take many, many days. If you're going hourly, this takes less so, and that's why we like Forex, because if you want to wait for this on the daily, it takes a very long time. Uh, you got to look at and the daily and weekly chart. But if this pattern comes, it is something that's extremely, extremely powerful. You just got to be patient. And I'm going to show you an example of this pattern on oil, okay, that turned out to precede a very, very large move on uh, oil. Now let's go see uh, the next pattern here, which is the head and shoulders pattern. And do we see something here? Yes, we see something uh, quite clear here. Let me point this out. So the head and shoulder, as you know, it's supposed to go up like this, and then it's supposed to go down, up, down, up, down, and then basically break the neckline down. Do we see something like this? Yes, it's quite similar here because if you see here, that's supposed to be the support line. And if you see how the price uh, moves here, basically moves up, go down, moves up, go down, moves up, go down again. And then once it breaks this line, go down there. And of course you can draw another line here and that's really the formation of this head and shoulder because uh, what uh, you really see is that left shoulder, head, and right shoulder. And interestingly, oil also uh, has a very, very nice pattern. You know, there's a lot of uh, similar uh, head and shoulders here on oil. So it's something that you really can look at. I know you see this also, right? You guys are very smart people, right? So this is left shoulder, head, right shoulder, down, kaboom. There it goes, down, head and shoulders. And uh, oil, we can also see uh, another variation of the head and shoulders, 
which I said is really uh, the inverse head and shoulders. In fact, this was a very big one, got everyone excited. Uh, it was a false break, but eventually it did happen. Let's go to the weekly chart on oil here. Yes, can you see it there, right? It's all there for uh, basically uh, everyone to see here. Not really that clean, but this one really caught everyone's uh, attention here. If you look here, while well, oil is at that price now, because what you can see here is basically an inverse head and shoulders pattern. This is, goes like that, goes like that, goes like that, goes like that. It didn't go up now, goes like that, goes like that. And then guess what happened? Kaboomba, it goes up just like that. It should be more green, right? Goes up and breaks out, but you can see here, the left shoulder, the head, the right shoulder, which is the inverse H and S, but it didn't break here. So kind of a false move here, but because it was a false move here, guess what? When it tried again, it really, really went up there. Look at that. Okay, so this is the power of the head and shoulder and also the inverse head and shoulder. Another powerful pattern that I like is basically flags. You know, you see prices going down like this and then just uh, suddenly breaking out. So they go down uh, in a straight line like this and then going up because the overall pattern is like that going up. And you can even have another pattern where, uh, uh, you know, there's a lot of patterns for flags here, but uh, you can even have something like this is going up and up and up and then suddenly, one fine day, it just breaks down. So it goes in this nice, really channeling pattern here. And then suddenly, kaboom, one day, it just breaks up with uh, a lot of momentum and, and a lot of volume. So you just basically can put your uh, uh, stop trades here or here, 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 right? So this is a favorite pattern. I'm going to see this in the examples uh, that I show. And actually, this is one of my favorite signature trades. Uh, that I really, really use a lot, okay, in, in my trading. Now, uh, for the next one, uh, we're going to see something that uh, uh, happens a lot. So, you can see the examples here, and I will explain why this is actually my signature trade. Now, uh, let's go see the flags, okay, the flag patterns here. I've drawn it here, okay, these are essentially flags. What it means is that you know it can go up or it can go down. If you have a price basically moving up like this, it's just waiting to go down. If you have prices moving down, it's just waiting to go up. Can we see it here? Yes, you see this flag here. This is actually on the British pound and it goes by weekly, which is why these are very, very strong moves. So, you know, it tried to break here, tried to break here, tried to break here, and only uh, it tried to break here also, and only on the fifth time it broke here. So it needs a couple of tries, okay? It needs to try many, many times, and you really need to watch for this. Similarly, there was another flag here going down, and then it suddenly broke up here, right? One try, two tries, uh, three tries, and on the fourth try. Similarly, going here before it broke up, one try, two try, three tries, and on the fourth try, it broke up. This is shows you the flag on uh, the British pound. You can see this also on the lower level charts. That's why I kind of like these patterns because it's very, very easy to identify and uh, it's very, very uh, easy to draw up. Now, another one of my favorite patterns, but I must admit, I probably bastardized this pattern. It's basically the cup and handle because you know I like uh, the prices where it goes uh, around like this. Uh, yeah, let's go back here, okay? It goes around uh, basically like this because it takes a long time to form. And then it goes up like this, challenging this neckline again, okay? Challenging this trend line because once it breaks, this is a very, very strong move, okay? I just love these patterns, you know, because they do take uh, quite some time to form and they challenge this line at least twice and then it just goes up because you see here, it goes lower like that, goes like that and then breaks it and go down and go up, sorry, and go up and goes up with full force. But if you see the classic cup and handle, you see this line here, you're supposed to go in before it breaks that trend line. I make it easier, I just wait it to break this trend line because for me, a simple cup and handle for Forex, uh, which really, really works, uh, and I've used this a lot of times, I'm gonna show you something that happened recently uh, in November, right? And not to be exact, that really, really works. So here's my version of the uh, cup and handle. 
let's clear all this. So, you know, you basically have a line here. This is the price line here. And what I'm looking for is prices to make one whole round like this. Yeah, it has to be rounded, right? Rounded is good because anything rounded, that means it, it's gone through a lot uh, to make this round. And then it basically challenges here, it fails. It comes out here, it challenges again. And then yes, it kind of explodes up. Now you also might have a situation, I've seen this uh, several times also, where prices might challenge and then you get a whipsaw and then it goes back down again, goes uh, below the trend line again. But once it challenges again, it goes up and makes a nice clean break to the upside. And usually this break is very, very strong, which is why this cup and handle is something that is really my favorite and I've traded a lot of these, especially in commodities, okay, commodities. And I'm gonna show you an example now of uh, recently what happened on the 29th of November. And here we see uh, the chart pattern for gold, okay? XAU USD is essentially gold. And I'm gonna show you the pattern for the one that I like, which is a cup and handle. Uh, you guys can see it somewhere uh, here, right? Yeah, you can see it here. We draw that line here. This is basically a support line. And you see a nice, nice cup and handle basically here. Uh, this is why I said I like to see simple things in line. You see, there's the cup and there's the handle here. And suddenly it breaks down, breaks up very, very high. Of course, there's another rounded uh, thing here. Uh, rounded pattern here. So I like rounded bottoms, okay, because rounded bottoms, when they try to go up, they usually go up and when they break up, they're usually very, very strong. So uh, let's find another one just recently, okay, recently uh, that, that we saw here. Show you just how powerful this cup and handle is, especially for Forex. And there uh, you basically can see it as prices, uh, you know, uh, start moving down and suddenly it breaks up. So can you see that pattern? Let's see here and let's draw it here so that you guys can really, really see it. So you see here, it was basically well supported uh, by this. And uh, again, this is another variation of it, but uh, you know, it's basically multiple rounded. I tried to go here, it didn't break here. I tried to go here and then it broke up there, okay? So you can even draw it like this, but once you see this, just remember that the breakout will eventually happen and it's going to happen on a very, 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 very strong note. And that's why you must always take note of this nice uh, cup and handle patterns that are available in Forex a lot of times for you to look at uh, the potential breakouts and so much so more in commodities like uh, a gold, silver, or even oil.